So right now I am going to be using a squeegee on Mimi because she's very wet because it's a very rainy and muddy day, as you can tell. So let's go in. So here's Memers. I call her Memers. She likes that name. So you just run it down and you'll so you start at the neck and go in the line with the fur and her mane kind of going off so I have to go like that and then down and there's a big water build up that goes and you can kind of hear it go down sometimes. That is how you use Scoochie on a horse. There, then you go down to the bottom layer to get all the water that trickled down from the top. And using the same method by following the hairline. So now I'm putting towels over her just to get the remaining wetness off. I just do this while I like groom where the girth is and stuff. And then after I'm going to dry off the girth area just so to make sure that the saddle doesn't slip. And I'm doing this while I'm picking her hooves and I'm doing her mane and tail. Mimi will be much more comfortable once she's dry. So I'm taking this one off. There's probably hair on it so I'm going to use the other side because it's only a bit damp and I'm going to use this on her face and this one I'm going to use on the rest of her body and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand there and rub I'll rub and then after I'll brush her to get all that finishing touches up so rub it it like fluffs the hair up but like it makes them drier so right where the saddle goes do it a lot like get it dry I'll dry and it's like moist and a bit dirty so I'm definitely gonna have to go in with the curry comb there and I will show you what curry comb I use um, after it's a little bit wet so that's fully dry there Got as much as I could off with the towel. And the dandy brush and the curry comb will definitely get, especially the dandy brush will get a lot of that extra wetness off. I wish you can even say hi. Please like and subscribe.